Today I'm doing a short review on this intelligent gesture robot called Guardian. They sell it on uh, Amazon for around 30 something dollars. I'm, it's just going to be a short review showing what the different buttons do. This is the manual and the accessories that came with it. And that's the robot. It already came pre-charged, but you can see the manual. It's pretty, pretty big and long. Um, it uses a micro USB connector and it turns red when it needs to charge when you plug it in. They don't say what's the appropriate wattage or you know voltage for this but I plugged it into a generic charger and it worked. Uh, so it has some shield and guns. I'm not going to really go over that. You'll need a screwdriver to connect the AA batteries that's here in the back. It comes with a nice screwdriver. You can see my control remote's already scratched up. Got some IKEA batteries in here. So you just have to unscrew that. <coughs> Here's the box. Uh, even though it says ages six plus and up, uh, all my kids love using this. I have kids from two to eight. They just like the music. This is more for music than anything. So it's about like twenty buttons or something. But I'll go over through how you turn it on and the sounds it makes. When you turn it on, you can override it by pressing one of the buttons. It's going to start to say stuff, so let me go turn it on right now. There's a big power button over here. Might as well show you where it's charged in the back. Here's the charging connector. Power button up front. So that's it. That's how it starts up. You'll probably want to turn him. These are the most basic controls over here on the left. So I guess this left. Left. So I'm pressing this button. And then if you want to go forward, that's forward. They call it a slide. So I could go back slide. Let's go right so he faces us more. So that was right. This is double forward. So I'm just doing that. So the other controls that you'll be using is, let's say, the volume button. It's pretty loud when you boot them up. You can turn off its lights, I guess. This button. Um, These are some more advanced buttons. Like this is actually walking, I think. So the left side is sliding, but this one is actually walking. Let's go left so we can face him. It's very similar. So I go right. Sora takes a step on this side. Walk back, walk over here. Let me go face it. 
So the thing that you'll probably be using if you have really young children is the music. And the kids love the music. Press the music button over here. I think it has like three or four songs, I'm not sure. So that's one of the songs. They're pretty long, they're like 30 seconds to a minute. So let's try another song. So it's the second song. Third song. So like, I think five songs. There's the ABC button over here. This button, ABC. It even does ABC. And so this is good for my really young two-year-old. So again, you can interrupt it by moving. Which is good. You've been waiting this long, you're probably wondering about the hand gestures. So you can make it go away if you go too close. But if you bring it like this, you can make it go. So this is the hand gesture part. So you can make it go left and right. So if you gesture it one side it might come towards you <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how to do the turning see I can do a turn like that so you gotta get good at this but there <laughs> So that's the gestures. Uh, you can program a bunch of buttons at once, and it's using this program button. So for instance, I'm going to have them looking away. I'm going to program, press the program button. Forward, forward, left, right, back, back, let go. Now when I press it, it's going to do forward, forward, left, right, back, back. Okay, let's see it go in action. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe it has something recorded from before. So I don't really know how to use this feature too well. Okay. I thought it was just you press and hold this button. And then you do like one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. So maybe I did too many movements. I don't know. Uh, so that's how you can do the recording thing. I'm not sure what this one does. I guess he dances for you. Number four is music, just music in general. This is number four. The button I just pressed is music. No, that's wrong. Yeah, it is. So, this was nursery rhymes. This is 
stories according to this is probably on your your thing over here but here's the numbers and then what they correspond to so I'm gonna do stories now so again this t can be used for ages younger than six because they have stories and and what's it called my dog doesn't bite Mike walks into a pet shop <laughs> So it has two stories. That's not too bad. It has two stories on here. It has about four or five nursery songs. And then it has the ABCs. What's this? Button? The third button over here is... Popular Science. So I guess it's going to talk about science. My kid likes this feature. Seven continents and four oceans. The seven continents includes why there are day and night. We all know that the Earth going around the sun. So there is always a side of the Earth facing to the sun. Well, the other side. Is so those are the most most of the functions on here. This side is for regular walking. This is for sliding. Nursery rhyme, um, stories, facts, ABC, memory button, volume. <laughs> That's it. Uh, for 30 something dollars, it's not a bad toy. And it has gesture movements too. That's my review. Gonna live by it. Have a good one.